Tonight at 5, we are getting a first look at security footage leading up to the train derailment in East Palestine. Watch the top center of your screen. Those sparks right there coming mm. from the wheels under one of the rail cars. And that footage comes from a business in Salem. It's around 15 miles west of East Palestine. The National Transportation Safety Board says this video points to a mechanical problem long before the derailment. Thanks for joining us for uh, NBC4 at 5 tonight. I'm Jared Small. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. It has been exactly two weeks since that disaster. And today, Governor Mike DeWine assuring those community members that the air and the water are not contaminated following the chemical spill caused by the derailment. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami joins us live now with the latest on state and federal resources being sent to that area. Natalie. Jennifer, Governor Mike DeWine wants the residents of East Palestine to know they're not alone and they'll have resources as long as they're needed. Air and hundreds of homes sampled, dozens of wells tested for contaminants from the East Palestine trail derailment. And Governor Mike DeWine says it's all safe. The monitoring will continue, however. We are going to continue to listen to the community and support them and work with them. DeWine says if you get municipal water, you can drink it. He encourages residents who have private wells to wait until their water is tested and while waiting, drink bottled water out of caution. As far as the Ohio River, DeWine says the plume has dissipated. Some water systems along the Ohio River will close their water intake lines for the time being out of a bunch of caution. We understand that. That's perfectly fine, but we do believe that there's no reason to be concerned. Some state lawmakers are urging DeWine to declare an emergency, but he says right now Ohio is not eligible for federal emergency aid. DeWine says his team has preemptively filed for help from FEMA just in case it gets to that point. If at any point uh, we get um, uh, any indication that we can uh, activate FEMA, we certainly can, uh, you know, do, do that notification of disaster. Other resources will be made available in East Palestine next week. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services will set up clinics to answer questions and evaluate symptoms, and a number of local mental health resources will be supported by the state. This has taken a tremendous toll on residents in East Palestine. We know that this has been a traumatic experience for all of them. DeWine says the area of the sulfur run directly near the crash site should be avoided, but that area has been blocked off as not to contaminate any waterways. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4. Natalie.